Brother Vincent, uh, and helps them in all their endeavors. Mary, thank you. I am so, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm so happy to be here. Thrilled. I, I, you know, the way this started, the story of it was Monsignor had called me many, many years ago and said, oh, I'm kind of interested, what do I do? So I went over to Uganda and spoke to the bishop. I told him, Monsignor, I'm going over. I spoke to Bishop Paul, and without a doubt, he said, Zeroboy Parish. I said, okay. He said, that is the parish that needs the most. So at that time, Father Vincent Bucivi was just a young boy who I knew for so many years. You know, he wasn't even there yet. He was no father at all. So anyhow, I went, went back and I came to parish council and did a presentation and nothing happened. And I went back the next year, met with Father John Mary who was there and came back and nothing happened. And this went on. Monsignor was really, really careful. He wanted to make sure that this was the right thing and what I guess what the Holy Spirit really wanted. So I came back one year and, and showed the pictures and I had talked and Father John Mary was there. And Monsignor said, I think we're ready to go. And I said, wow. You know, it was a long thing. It wasn't just a quick decision. So I praise Monsignor for that. So that was in September. And in October, now we have Father Vincent Mucivi, who has been two years a priest. Oh, OK. Two years a priest, my son. And I've been so happy to have journeyed with him all along. So what happened, Father was, uh, vocation director within the diocese and youth director. Now that's not easy because the people don't come like they do for the youth here. You have to go all around to see the youth and provide and do all of this. So Monsignor said yes in September and there was there were talk, little whispers, and I said to Father, ah, Father, I hear there's whispers. You might be a parish priest, meaning the pastor. He said, oh, no, 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 no. He said, no. He said, I have two big jobs. Even if they recommend me, the bishop will say no. I'm, I'm telling you a long story. So long and short, uh, he said, and you know what else? He said, I'm a village boy. And I know father, and I know his family. I visited the village, his mom. He said, you know, the pastor has to be responsible for everything. And in Uganda, the parishioners are supposed to be responsible for the pastor. Well, I've been there, and I've seen the collection. It cost us maybe $10 in gas to get out there, and in the collection is a flower, an egg, a mango, a few coins, maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty, two dollars, from the heart of these generous people because they've given all that they have for Father. But he said, how can I do all this, be responsible? So needless to say, Monsignor said yes in September and October, Father Vincent was made parish priest, pastor, two years ordained of Zerohoi Parish. So that's the story of the Holy Spirit working in, in all of this. And I just am so grateful for everybody. Um, Father has been my son for many years. He's very, very, very dear to me. He is truly, truly my son. And we've journeyed together. And even before this, Father helped. And, you know, I saw his heart. His heart was for the children. His heart was for his people. Even the first time he came here, no, I have to go back, I, and I can see it. He brings joy and delight for his people. So uh, this was Father's heart, and it was, it's really wonderful. Father worked with Yama Uganda on our many, many projects before this. So this was a perfect fit, and it all just, the Holy Spirit arranged it just so. Really, it just was a wonderful, wonderful thing. And it was on my bucket list, I'll tell you, to take Monsignor with me. I thought of that a lot of times. And he's a very brave man. So he's coming along with us. He's going to have a wonderful time. We worked very hard on his program with the deacon. And it's just, and Bernadine, a lady from here, another couple, it's going to be six of us. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful trip. And the next time, Monsignor's going to get up and tell you all the stories of Uganda, because the people over there are sure waiting for him. So, without further ado, Father Vincent de Paul Mucivi. <laughs>